Hi everyone. Today I'm gonna be showing you how you can export your project to Git. Let's say that uh, you are working in team and uh, you would like to share your project to your team or let's say that uh, there is a library that you create and you would like to share um, the library to the world. So one of the best uh, remote server that we can use to export or to share this project is GitHub. Now today I'm going to show you how you can export your project from Eclipse to GitHub um, directly without even using console. You're going to do everything graphically inside of Eclipse. So before we move on, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also click on the notification icon so you can receive a notification upon our next video. The first thing that we are going to do right now is uh, we are going to create a new Java project. It's not going to be a complicated project because uh, um, this is just an example so I can show you. All right, let's click on create a project. It's going to be a Java project. Next, I'm going to call it uh, git export. All right. Okay. Click on create. No need the perspective. All right. Actually, I have uh, a project in front of me. Let me create a class inside of this project. I'm gonna call the class export. Uh, I'm gonna call the package com.git. That's all. I'm just gonna create a main class in a main method inside of this class. All right. So actually, we have a project, and we would like to export this uh, project in Git. All right. Now the next thing that we need to do, we need to go on GitHub. So when you come on GitHub, probably it's gonna require you to create an account. Actually, I have an account with GitHub, and uh, I already logged into my account. Now, when you come to GitHub, to GitHub, you're gonna need to create a repository, and this is the same repository that you're gonna use to keep your code. To do that, click on New. So, in my case. Uh, just like uh, by convention, the same name that I have uh, in Eclipse, um, I use the same name for my repository. But this is not mandatory to use the same name. That means whether you have the same name or not, it doesn't matter. But in my case, just uh, by convention, the same name that I have in Eclipse, I use the same name, the same name in Git. So for this reason, I'm going to call my repository Git export. All right, when you create a repository, it can be public or private. Public, the repository will be accessible to every, to everybody. And private, it's only your repository, your repository, only you can access this repository. Most of the time, when you create a public repository, um, it is uh, very good to add a readme file. The readme file is the file where you can give like some explanations about the repository that you create. And uh, and also, you can choose a license. Let's say, for example, if you create a library that's going to be used by the Red, you can um, add like a license to say what someone or what someone cannot, cannot do with your library. In my case, uh, I'm going to use uh, this library as a private library. All right. It will not be accessible by everybody. And that's all you need for now. You, you, can, you just click on create repository. Now, as soon as you create um, the repository, it provides you a link here. All right, you can just click here to copy the link. And this link is the one that you're going to use inside of Eclipse to export your project. Now, let's come back to Eclipse. Um, being here, you select the project make right click on the project itself click on sim now because uh, um, this is the first time that you're going to export 
your project to Git, probably you're going to find it like that. Otherwise, it's not going to be the same. All right? This is the first time. Click on Share Project because you are sharing your project. And uh, click on Use or Create Repository in Parent Folder of Project. All right? Select Git Export and click on create repository and click finish actually you have a git a local repository ready to be shared now make right click again click go to team click on commit all right now we need to commit we need to commit um the change that we've done for example, in this case, um, you see that there are, um, let's say, five files here. They are not important files, all right? The most important for us is the export Java. But if you want, you can um, commit everything. In my case, I'm going to only commit the, the Java file. This is the one that I have created. And... Uh, when, I, when you are committing, it's always good to leave a message. The message is not, it's for you, but it's also for for the other members of your team to, to, to it's always good to, to leave a message where you explain um, um, where you are in the project. So this is a very good thing, all right? So it's mandatory also to leave a message in my case. I'm just gonna say this is, uh, My first commit, it's just a test, all right? Now being here, there are two things that you can do. You can click on commit, you can click on commit and push. If you click on commit, your change is gonna be saved in the local repository. If you click on commit and push, your change is gonna be saved in the local repository and also it will be pushed to the server. Me, in my case, I first of all click on commit. I commit my change. And I can click on git export. And I come here at sim. And I choose to push it myself to make sure that I'm pushing my change to the right repository. All right? You can, in your case, you can just click on commit and push. But in my case, I always click on commit. And after I go directly to team, to click on push to make sure that the repository where I'm pushing my changes uh, is the right repository, all right? So here, being here, I click on push branch master, and now you have the possibility to change the remote server, the remote repository. This is the remote, this is a link related to the remote repository that I just, that I copied later. Automatically, uh, did take it from the clipboard and passed it here for me, all right? Now, um, let's continue. Now, um, the protocol that I'm using is HTTPS. Um, you can use whatever the protocol you want. You can use, for example, SSH. If you'd like to use SSH, you can just click here, and Git, Git will give you the, the, link, the, the, the link related to the SSH protocol. In my case, I'm going to be using HTTPS. Great, coming back to, to, to Eclipse. So, probably you need to pass the user, the username and the password. The username and the password is the same that you are using on GitHub. All right, My password is... One second. Great. Now being here, I'd like to come into the master branch and I can click on preview, push. He's asking me again for the password. I'm gonna keep the password here. So I'm gonna ask him more for the password.
all right so everything was pushed to everything was pushed to the to the server now let's come here let's refresh the page and here it says that just come to push something like two minutes ago here you can see the message of the commit this is my first commit it just it, it is just a test and if you take a look here um, this is the file that I have created uh, later all right so that's all for today so if you have a question don't hesitate to ask it in the comment and also you can email me um, if you need more explanation thank you everybody don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also to click on the notification icon in case you're not um, subscribed yet to the channel thank you so much